G'day! Today we're going to have a look at Imperium's Greek Wars. Um, I'll just hit tutorial straight off, because if someone's going to teach me how to play a game, I really need to, to listen, because otherwise I just flail around not knowing what I'm doing. Uh, so this game's a couple of years old, but the uh, the developers sent me a key thinking that it's something I might like to check out. So here I am checking it out. If you think I'll like it, I'll happily try it. Um, so... What are we getting ourselves into? a game I don't know anything about, and thus a tutorial will help. Sparta and Athens have a venerable presence that has shaped our history, and neither will easily yield their place. Though Sparta lost its dominance a few decades ago after an earthquake, leading to Messenia breaking away and defeat under Thebian spears, underestimating their will for reascendance would be a mistake. Military tradition is in their blood. They will not settle for second place at the Olympiad, nor diplomatic table, much less the battlefield. Athenian presence now stretches from Attica to far-flung colonies along our sea. They also control the Delian League. However, many allies resent Athenian hubris and treatment of them as slave nations. Outright rebellion may be nigh as other states seek to undermine them. Yet, while Sparta and Athens influenced our culture for centuries, another rival enters the amphitheater for the final act. Young Philip has taken the throne in Macedonia, his brother the king having recently fallen against barbarians. Though his fledging kingdom struggles, Philip is fearless and ambitious. Oracles have prophesied that Hellenes will learn how one man can change the history of so many. It's two quick thoughts. I, I swear he pronounces amphitheater with an L in there. Secondly, in the in the text down the bottom it said Macedonia with a K, but on the map it said Macedonia with a C, and he pronounced it Macedonia. Is it anciently pronounced Macedonia, and it's only recently been changed to being called Macedonia, or is he just flat out mispronounced the uh, the place that we're starting out here? Okay, ancient Greece, and a long time before it became known as Greece, and not yet even thought of as a cohesive nation, and it is today, still a fragmented amalgamation of city-states spread across more than just Hellas. Each continued its struggles against its neighbors, challenging sides and quarreling even after the 27 year long so called, I'm not going to pronounce that war, and long after the Hellenes united once to drive off the Persians. In the east, the Archimedes interiors of the Persian Empire strive to keep thumbs upon its independence mining collection of, of Strafi, Strafi, I don't know, Strafipies, to the north in the foothills of the Balkans, barbarian tribes of the Illyria, and Thrakia v with the Hellenic states for supremacy. Sparta, Athens, and Boeotia continue their rivalry, and now a new power is about to rise in the midst of it all. Macedon? Macedon? I'm not reading that. <laughs> okay, welcome to the tutorial. The tutorial will take uh, you through the main features, it will take longer than we have here. Tutorial panel will be displayed on the left side. This button will help you recall current assignment. This button will help you find units. This button will close the tutorial. Once there is a new assignment and buttons that will help you complete start flashing. Okay. Flashing button, click. Great, now you know where to find help. Use this whenever you're not sure how to continue. The next task is also easy. Select one of your map items by simply clicking on it. Map item, click. Now you know how to select the map item. Once selected, the map item is highlighted. Yeah, uh, if you want to deselect the map item, use left click. The unit map shows the important information about the selected map item. So it's a uh, Eugenios's army. Uh, the square icon on the left edge of the map represents the attributes skills. Square icon on the left edge. This guy, I guess. To navigate more easily, switch between your active units, you can use this button. So if I click on that guy, I can go army, army. Well done. Let's try moving some of your units. This button orders them to move. <laughs> Let's take that as the summary. 
No, I might. I've got to right click. Okay, you can move around the map. Uh, you can claim only tile by simply stepping on it. You should pay attention to different terrains on the map as they affect the defense abilities of your units. Okay. You there, go over there. No? Tutorial's kind of really active. What was I wanting to do? Didn't it want me to click over here? Claim the lands in the north of Macedonia. Do I have to? All right, let's read how we do that. By simply stepping onto it with any of your military units. Right. Right. I don't know why you lost your mind when you thought I went rogue. Keep expanding the borders. Build a new road. Roads play an important part. Give your settlers the order to build by clicking on the build road action. Walk there. Road. Build road. Alright, now let's continue the development of the empire and start utilizing and cultivating land. Uh, all cities need food. To increase food, you should order them to build fields. Order a set letter, build a field close to Therma by clicking on the build field. Walk, walk. Build, build. Perfect. First turn is almost over. Let's spend a bit more time on the game menu. In the upper right corner of the screen, this button opens the menu. Uh, this one displays the game help. Now it's time for other players to make their move. The big round button in the upper right corner of the screen ends the turn. They're all scheming. Every one of them. When I was young, and as a teenager, I was once at a friend's house and we were having a LAN party and we were playing the very boring Warlords 3. Now, to speed up the game in Warlords 3, what you would do is we only moved our hero. We didn't bother moving our little armies because it was so tedious. One of my friends, on the other hand, liked to double check every single one of his guys every single time he had a turn. Why did I think of that? Ah, oh, who knows. can speed this up. Alright, we've received some unsettling news. Uh, we have to adapt our tutorial. I love that. that it's almost like uh, the tutorial is a real thing that's happening to this guy. Alright, let's start in the south. Luckily, there's a bit of units. This unit orders city to enter a city and click on the city you want to enter. Alright, and I'm sure you'll show me how to do it, so I don't need to read about it. Alright, we click on this guy. No, we click on this guy. And he clicks on the city. Did I win? Was that it? Use the button to order the city and then to enter the city. Or click on the city you want to enter its confirmation. Alright, so have I done it? Or I click on that one. No, wait, no. I click on him, I click on that, I right click. Yes, sorry, the amount of times I'm left clicking here. Now what to do about the Dardanian hordes moving towards our border. Their city is the capital and the base from which they sent their warriors to harass us. Move a unit closer to their city. You? Move there. Alright, our warriors are well suited for the movement. As mentioned elsewhere, different armies and different types are suited for different terrains. Send the advancing unit to take 
cover in the forest. Move your unit and attack the enemy guards. <laughs> Who's the enemy guards? Are you... No. Who's the guards that you want me to attack? you just pointing an arrow at... Oh no. Am I not clicked on him? Alright. Use this button to launch an attack on an enemy map item. Move your unit and attack enemy guards. Clicked on him. That's the movement. Did I accident? Was I not meant to... I feel like I wasn't meant to uh, move that other guy onto him. But I can't launch an attack anywhere. It's telling me that it's still... This guy. Yes, okay. Uh, what happened? Draw. We didn't win. Uh, move the unit to Odessa and then click the heal inside button. Alright. Odessa's just over there, so we click on those guys. Well, they're already clicked on. No. I'm still a bit confused about when I am and aren't clicked on someone. Send a fresh unit against the enemy. I assume you mean him, but... He's not letting me. Am I selected on him? So now you want me to select that guy, move him in, then attack. Oh. Triumph. We can build our new city. Here at Excess River. River tiles are not only produce more resources, but they also happen to be the foundations of an abandoned town, which will make the construction more cheap. Use the Build Town Action button to order the troops to build a new settlement. These guys? I'm gonna name the new city OK. Um, I don't like how each time it's giving, it's sort of asking me to do something like build a tire, uh, farm. It's the only thing that's showing up here down the bottom. Like, it's not always going to be the first thing flashing at the end. Like, put it where it is and then just put an arrow over it. So I know like, okay, that's where this one's going to sit most of the time. Recruit a settler. Select the city and then use the build action. To recruit and use. Okay, so we select a city and then we use the build action. Settler. Great work. Build a road all the way to the gold mine. So. Is that this guy's job? Yes. You build route to there. No, sorry, I left clicked. 
left click that, and then I right click that. Let's take a look at the state window. Uh, we'll come back to some of them later, but let's explain the birth rate. Increase the birth rate. <laughs> I um, have sometimes had picture books that I'm reading my daughter books with, um, that are very word heavy for a, a girl that was four years old and it was like she doesn't need to know every word that's here let's just look at the pictures and guess uh, what's what's going on on this page so I'm clicking on this thing and then I'm clicking on this thing I missed that next bit but I'll click on the thing that's flashing and then the thing that's flashing and then I will drag a thing all right you're gonna need to tell me what we're uh, what we're wanting to do in there propose an exchange of gold for food not gold oh no I'm offering food two food for one gold please very good end the turn what is this load screen doing if I then watch them make all their moves spamming enter through all of them there to skip their turns trade was accepted before we start a new turn let's quickly summarize where to get information about the current turn and latest events you might have noticed that the date in the upper right corner has changed uh, if you want to recall the panel anytime during just click on the flag of the map menu now you're ready for the next time propose peace to Athens congratulations you've won the game Athens Peace. Yes. Fortify the unit in forest and move the damage unit back from the battlefront. How do I close that? Okay. I'll need more information than what I get. Um, fortify its position. Okay, so this guy. Fortify move so it's selecting them for me too it's also making it a little bit more confusing propose new treaties them uh peaceful passage close yes close did i not do it or do I need to propose both? Propose. Excellent. Build a defense to improve the city. Improve your unit. Let a settler work on draining the swamps on our coast. one thing that I can it's flashing down the bottom make the city to the existing road network sorry click on him right click on him no initiate new research that one End the turn. Pretty changes were agreed upon. A suffer was rejected. 
Alright, before we busy ourselves with the latest news, the button with the coat of arms opens the state window. Uh, I don't know which button that is, that's a lot of, there's a lot of buttons. It's not the COVID symbol on the top left, is it? Uh, resource panel shows the current reserves as well as surplus from previous turns. Build a Build facility lists buildings that can be constructed. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Request that they declare war on Athens. Hey, our friends. We request that you declare war on Athens. We should... Where do we want to move him? Say something about Odessa. We should move the restored cavalry unit from Odessa as well as the newly trained unit from Pella to the south. Alright, so we're just moving these guys. Alright, that far south. And those guys around there. Hire a general. Flashy button. Flashy button. Encourage troops by using general. Flashy button? Oh, that's a general. Flashy button. Playing back lands taken by Athens and launch an attack on Methoni. Victory. Group the units on the same tile and let the fortified units catch a breath and tend their wounded. So, build a temple. So, what am I needing to do here? Just right click on that, left click on it. Is there a build button on this page? There's no flashy button. Do I need to get one of my workers over there? They seem busy. Temples in general... Uh, in the state menu. Alright, flashy button up here. Temple. Build a road to connect the squ stone quarry with the existing road network. So we click on him, we then, sorry, click on our build road, and then we right click. And we let him get to work. this <laughs> they don't want to cancel peace with Athens oh come on be our friends the inability to fill the trade agreement might force our trade partners to look elsewhere all right mark for later more stuff so I think that uh, I might call it there on that one. So obviously, like, I didn't even get... I've still got, like, half of the tutorial to go. Uh, but it definitely is not grabbing me. Um, I don't... I think it's a style of game that just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, which makes it very hard to, to win me over. Like, it's a lot of instruction to, to go through. It's like playing a board game where a friend promises it's going to be fun. But you've got to understand how it works first. Just get in there. Let us, like, 
get our hands dirty and then we'll figure it out. Anyway, any uh, questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.